drop the kiddo off at school. Usually, after I drop the kiddo off at school, I uh, run to Walmart. It's right around the corner. It's like a, a mile away from my house. See what they got. Nine times out of ten, they don't have jack shiz. They don't have a damn thing. But today, my friends, this is the whole reason I recorded this segment. Today is 2-22-22. And it's Tuesday! What? I'm gonna take that as a good sign. I'm gonna take that as a sign of good luck. So I'm gonna go to Walmart and watch. They're gonna have either everything I'm looking for. They're gonna have freaking AE dub cards. They're gonna have, I don't know, new hockey cards maybe. Since I'm wearing the Florida Panthers jersey this morning. They're gonna have some figures that I'm looking for. What am I looking for figure wise anyway? I tell you what. If I don't find anything here, the rest of this video, I do have a haul ski. I have uh, some bots, some bats, bots and bats. I got a Hot Toys figure, some good stuff. Why am I red right now? Because I'm behind a school bus and they got some bright ass brake lights. Uh, anyway, guys, 2-22-22, it's Tuesday. It's not 2-22 in the afternoon or in the morning. That would be cool if it was. Anyway, guys, I'll show you what they got there, if they got anything at all. I don't know what I'm looking for. There's a ton of figures I'm looking for. We'll just see what they got. Sting! I need a freaking Sting. I got the Walmart exclusive Sting, but I don't have a regular AEW Sting, so I guess that's one thing I'm looking for, but I'll, I'll show you what they got. Wish me luck. Here we go. that guy up there bam all right moment of truth uh, let's see what we got we got some uh joes nothing good lots of baronesses and lady jays uh, hammerhead any other ones why is he so prevalent i got uh, uh there's the blue I think that's a Walmart exclusive. Blue Batman. Let's see. Let's see. Nothing really jumping out at me. I've never seen these before. I got the uh, Kamish in uh, police car. Ooh, Beast Man. I already got him, but it's a nice find. Tila, Spike Or. Bus off, Sorceress, Stratos. Mm. Oh, they are blasting the music in here. Mm, we're coming up empty. We're coming up empty, my friends. Nothing that I am looking for. What's back here? All right, it's a big strikeout here, guys. But at least I got to hear uh, Dishwalla's greatest hits while I was shopping. There's a bonus. Hopefully they don't copyright claim me. Alrighty, we're coming up on the neck of stuff. And Dishwalla's even louder over here. Good friggin' God. This is pretty cool. This is a big-ass spider from Witcher. Big-ass spider. They got two of them. Got, uh, same old stuff. Same old, same old stuff. Nothing new. Nothing new. We are we're at a Dishwalla concert right now. Holy frick, it is so loud. Please don't copyright claim me, Dishwalla. I know you need the money. I know you, you haven't produced a hit in a while, but um, good gad. All right, let's go check the car. Ooh, creep show. Oh, sweet. That's cool. All right, let's go check the cards. All right, card section. What do we got here? Lots of Magic the Gathering. Who still plays Magic the Gathering? Anyone out there play Magic? Holy frick. A lot of these guys. Flux. I'm sure these are popular, but I don't do basketball cards. I don't collect basketball, don't watch basketball. There's some dub dubs. WWE. Soccer, women's soccer, Chronicles. No. A E Dubski cards. At all, at all. All right, so there you go, guys. For those of you that have been clamoring for toy hunt footage, that's what I got to work with here, my friends. That's why I buy so much damn shit online now. Because our stores, 
suck some big ol' anus right now. They suck some big ol' anus right now. So, uh, yeah. Heading back home empty-handed. No cards, no figures. I almost bought that Creep Show video, but I wanted it on Blu-ray, and they only had it on DVD. Um, but, yeah, that's what I got to work with, so... I'll show you these toy hunt videos, guys, if, uh, if you like my, uh, entertaining commentary. I guess that's the only thing to look forward to. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you back in the nerd bar and, uh, have fun collecting and, uh, don't have fun not finding a damn thing in your damn stores. Happy Saturday, everyone. It is Saturday. I don't even know what the freaking date is because I don't have my watch, but it's Saturday. I just got done working out, sweating balls off over here. I'm sweating my bees off right now. I already went to Target. I went to Target before I worked out, and uh, they didn't have anything I was looking for. They did have a remnant of the McFarlane uh, freaking horse wave, horse bath, Dark Knight Returns. They had the Joker. I did not pick it up. I'm probably not going to pick up that wave because while I do want the horse, Wow, I'm getting hot now because of this freaking coat. While I do want the horse, I have the Mafex Dark Knight Returns figures, which I personally believe are superior. They're a lot more expensive, granted, but um, I have those, so I'm not going to get the McFarlane ones. Uh, but I am going to a Walmart right now. Uh, I'm not looking for anything particular, honestly. Um, I'm basically going here to kill time right now because, wow, this guy's going fast. Good Lord, dude, slow the frick down! You're freaking going to Chick-fil-A and you're driving that fast? I'm going to Walmart right now to kill time because I got to pick up P-Dog from Cheer and then take her to the doctor. So you guys are going to join me on this wild ride to Walmart where I'm probably not going to find nothing at all because when I was at Target this morning, there were freaking hunters galore hitting the spots early. So they probably hit this place like three hours ago. It's 9.45 right now. But we'll see. I'll pick up uh, everyone's sloppy fifths and sixths. Maybe I'll strike gold. You never know what happens. You never know. But uh, here at Walmart, and I'll see you guys. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. You can at least give me a head nod that say thank you, bro, instead of giving me the freaking stink eye. So just let you. Now you're going back and forth, zigzagging with your freaking cart. What the frick, dude? What the frick? All right, guys. I'm in a mood. I just did some freaking kickboxing. Burned like 650, 700 cows. Let's go see what these mother frickers got. All right, card section first. What do we got? Baseball, Optic, Chronicles, Basketball. No, AE Dub. Been looking for AE Dub. What's this wild card? That's back from the uh, early 90s. Wild card illumination. Lots of dub dubs, but no AE dubs. So, oh well. The search continues for AE dub cards. All right, walk into the toy section. It's funny because you walk around these uh, stores and you see, I see a common theme. It's usually a dad around my age with a kid and they're walking very fast towards the toy section. Those are hunters, my friends. Those are toy hunters. You gotta beat them, you gotta beat them. All right, so it looked like they had this display the Batman display and no McFarlane's. Some people are finding the McFarlane figures on this display, but not here. All right, down the toy aisle we go. And let's show you what they got. Usual suspects on McFarlane. They do have the red hood. I have seen the newer red hood as well. Looks like they don't have it here though. Hmm, Batman stuff. Here's the Star Wars stuff. IG-11, as Kyle Peterson would say. It's cape season. Cape season for days right there. And we got some AE dub. Missing shirt on Jake Hager. Kazarian's, Santana's. Here's Peacemaker, Goldberg. This guy who's gonna be on AEW soon. Oh, I've never seen the Mandy Rose. A Bobby Fish that's too tall. Way too tall for Bobby Fish. He's like 5'9-ish. That's it. Is that it? What's this? In Space Phantom Ranger. It's kind of cool. Not doing the uh, Lightning Collection though. Got Mikey and Bebop. Leo and Rocksteady. And 
it looks like guys no pickups from all yours truly no pickups which is fine I could save some money I am still looking for the uh, Bumblebee movie um, all the Autobots from the opening scene on Cybertron looking for those guys but it looks like that's what we're working with guys I want to take a quick look at clearance and then I'll look at the uh, NECA section all right, no footage from the uh, clearance aisle because there's a lot of people in that aisle, but uh, I can tell you the only thing they had toy-wise was one lonely Beast Wars figure, which I don't even know which one it was. I'm heading to the NECA section right now. I'm going to see what they got. I don't think there's any NECA figures I'm looking for because um, I think I'm pretty much all caught up, but we'll see what they got. Moon Pies, what the frick? What the frick? Holy cow, lots of foot soldiers. Um, Halloween, The Witcher, Goliath, No Thalog. These are kind of cool. I'm not going to buy them, but they, they do look cool. Uh, is that it? This guy's pretty cool, I gotta say. He's big. He could probably double as like a frost giant in your uh, Legends display. He's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. The Witcher Wild Hunt. He's large. Large. So to give you a size comparison, there's Goliath, and there's this dude. That's a cool looking figure, I gotta say. I'm not gonna buy it, but I'm very tempted. But there you go, guys. That's what I'm working with. I'm gonna go pick up my daughter. I'll probably see you guys in the nerd bar, show you what I actually have picked up in this uh, video, in this haul. But uh, thanks for joining. A little more wide-angle lens action for you. Any good movies? Creep Show. I do want to get this, but in uh, Blu-ray. Love my Creep Show. Comedy horror. That's my, that's my jam right there. I like horror. Like dark humor, dark horror, uh, ironic horror, I guess. Would be like Creep Show, Twilight Zone, stuff like that sci-fi horror but my my jam is comedy horror it's my jam so there you go guys adios for now all right what's up guys uh using a different camera this time and i'm using a different mic this time so hopefully it uh it's not too different than my usual iphone footage but decided just to to do this because it's easier and faster and simpler but anyway you wouldn't have thought that I would have had any kind of toy haul based on uh, those two toy hunts that you saw earlier at Walmart, but I actually have a pretty, pretty nice haul here. I got a stack of Marvel Legends. I got a stack of uh, DC Multiverse stuff. I have a couple Transformers. I have a couple Hot Toys, and I probably have the weirdest purchase I've ever had on this damn channel. So, we're gonna end it with that set up the uh, speculation for that. What the heck did he buy? We're gonna start with the DC Multiverse uh, stuff. And uh, obviously I'm very, very excited and hyped for The Batman, which actually, uh, it comes out today, uh, or yesterday, I believe. Uh, today's March 2nd, by the way, yes. Uh, my first clip was from February 22nd, so I've kind of strung together uh, several clips from uh, the span of like three weeks, two weeks? Whatever the frick. Anyway, I'm very, very excited to see the Batman. I will probably not be able to see it until next Tuesday, which is almost a week from today. So hopefully I can avoid spoilers the best I can. But uh, yeah, I will not be able to see it for an entire week. But that didn't stop me from buying some stuff from the movie. So we're going to start with this guy right here. Uh, this is the uh, Bat Cycle. This is the Batman Bat Cycle. There's two motorcycles that McFarlane did. There's the Drifter uh, regular looking motorcycle, which actually looks really freaking cool. And then there's the Bat Cycle right there for Battinson. And you know what? I think it was my last video. 
but uh, you guys pointed out that the uh, the Batman figure that I picked up was actually uh, it had some it was messed up. It had the wrong cowl. Um, it had the uh, the mask down cowl, and it also had an upside down torso. I actually uh, did my best to fix those. I took off the cowl, and then I um, heated up the figure and switched the torso around. I was like, okay, cool, it's fixed. Then I realized that he was missing the collar. He has a collar piece that is right right above his uh, cape, below his cowl, and it was missing that. So I was like, what the frick? I guess I'm gonna go get an another one. So that's exactly what I did. I went ahead and uh, got another one, uh, and that will be posed with this beautiful bat cycle. So there you go there. I don't know how much screen time that bat cycle gets. It's probably only in there for like one scene. We'll find out though. We will find out. Uh, but I also got uh, two more figures from the Batman. I got this one right here. This is the uh, the Drifter Batman or Bruce Wayne with a horrible, horrible head sculpt right there. <laughs> a lot of people are like, what is up with that head sculpt? It does not look good. And I will tell you that I will probably not have that head on here because I am planning on getting the Drifter motorcycle and the Drifter motorcycle comes with a helmeted head, a head sculpt. Uh, it's not even a helmet. It's actually a head that you pop off this head pop on that head and it looks pretty damn good from what I've seen so that's what I'll be doing I'll be getting that motorcycle popping this head off and then I'll have my uh, proper Bruce Wayne drifter and then I got this one right here this is the uh, I guess one of the villains in the movie I guess the main uh, antagonist in the movie Paul Dano hell of an actor the Riddler I got the Riddler right there from what I uh, have heard based on reviews he is creepy AF and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think he's a great actor. He is freaking just an outstanding actor. And uh, really looking forward to seeing his portrayal of the Riddler, the serial killer Riddler. Not the laughing, joking, dancing, freaking Jim Carrey version. This dude is serious business. So I got the Riddler. Bam. Um, just need the Penguin. I need a Selena Kyle. And then I think that's all the figures they've done at this point. Uh, and then I got a non-Batman McFarlane figure. It is uh, uh, DC movie related. And I gotta say, uh, this version, when I looked at it in the store, I was gonna pass on it because I actually have the SH Figure Arts version of this character in this outfit. And then I looked at it and I, um, Started looking at the paint apps, I'm like, damn, this actually looks better than the freaking SH Figure Arts version. So, here it is right here. This is the Harley Quinn, and um, you could see on her pants, you can actually see like the uh, metallic looking paint and the diamond patterns. They don't even have the diamond patterns on the SH Figure Arts version. If they do, they're very faint. But uh, I just thought this looked really, really great. Didn't really like the movie. The movie was okay. But I am a Harley Quinn fan. And uh, I just wanted to add this one in the collection. So I thought it looked good and picked it up. So those are the McFarlane um, pieces that I picked up for this haul. Let's check out the Marvel Legends and Star Wars stuff now. All right, what's he doing? He changed the freaking camera angle. It looks different now. Yes, I am kind of experimenting here. So I was watching the playback of that last clip. I noticed that it was having a little bit of difficult time keeping up. Uh, so I'm not sure if my system resources were tapped out. Anyway, back to the iPhone. But let's get back to the haul here. I'm gonna start with the single, this is not the single Star Wars item. This is the single Star Wars Black Series figure in this haul. You'll see the uh, another Star Wars item a little bit later in the hall. Bam, Commander Cody. This is the archive figure. Yes, this is starting sh to ship. Uh, I got this from... It was either Amazon or Hasbro frickin' Pulse. So if you're looking for this guy, I don't know, check either one of those and see if he's still available. But I'm pretty sure it's from one of those two. Definitely wasn't Big Bad because I still have my Kessler Werewolf and my pile of loot there. But anyway, Commander Cody, badass. Going on the freaking Clone Wars shelf. Bam. I got a stack of legends here. Um, I was not collecting these at first and then I realized, you know what, these are really cool and they would look really good on a Marvel Legends comic book. Spider-Man shelf, which I do not currently have. Currently I'm looking at my Marvel Legends uh, shelves. I have three shelves in my details dedicated to legends. 
one shelf is all Age of Apocalypse stuff. It's such a huge freaking roster of uh, figures. So that takes up an entire shelf. And then I have two shelves for MCU figures. So uh, I currently don't have any of these Spider-Man figures on display, but I figured if I start collecting these, maybe I will start a little Spidey display. But here you go. I got uh, Shocker, who does not shock people. He's not Electro. Common misconception, shock waves. He uses shock waves. It's not uh, zap zap. It's I, I don't, anyway. There's Shocker. Classic Shocker, animated series Shocker. I got this guy right here. He's one of the ones that's kind of harder to find on the shelves. Uh, I find a lot of Shockers. I find a lot of Hammerheads. Uh, a shit freaking ton of Hammerheads, but not a lot of this guy. Uh, definitely not a lot of Ben Riley Spider-Man. Zero of Symbiote uh, Spider-Man. Uh, and then I've only seen uh, the Spider Armor Mark one one time and I picked it up. But anyway, here's Hobgoblin. Yes, I know it's not as great as the previous Hobgoblins, but hey, it's the one that I currently have. So there you go. Bam, I got a Hobgoblin. This is one of the ones that I was actually looking for. Uh, there was two in this wave that I really, really, really wanted the most. Uh, one was the black suit symbiote Spider-Man. The other one was this guy right here who is currently our Spider-Man in the Amazing Spider-Man comic books because uh, spoiler alert, old Peter Parker is uh, kind of laid up in a hospital for the past, I don't know how many issues, seven issues, eight issues, something like that. Ben Riley's taken over again. I like Ben Riley. I like him. He's a clone. He's kind of like Peter Parker, but he's kind of different. It's the same, but different. Uh, and then I got, uh, that's the end of the Spider-Man Retro Legends here. I got some Fantastic Four Retro Legends here to go along with my... They're out of uh, arm's distance reach right now, but my Johnny Storm and my Sue Storm, I figured, you know what? I bought the two translucent figures to go on a translucent shelf. I got the clear Invisible Woman. I got the uh, flame on Johnny Storm. Why the frick would I only have two members of the Fantastic Four? Icing on the cake, I found this guy on clearance. So here's Reed, Mr. Fantastic. It says $16.09. I think this rang up for 12 bucks when I scanned it. So 12 bucks, Mr. Fantastic. I think it's even going for cheaper in some people's targets, but bam, old stretch there, Mr. Fantastic. And then last but not least, I can't have three members of the Fantastic Four. I can't have three. I need the fourth. I need old fricking Ben Grimm. So I got the thing, even though the paint looks a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie. Paint looks a little weird because he's got like this stripe of light orange and then he's got dark orange on him. It just looks a little, looks like he's got like a little, like tan lines on his rocks. Kind of strange, but I don't care. I have the Fantastic Four now. So hell yes, bam. Bam, Transformers, bots, blaster. Uh, this is not a Studio Series, this is a Kingdom, even though he could have been a Studio Series 86 character because he was in the movie, the 86 movie. Blaster, he's the good guy version of Soundwave. Freaking sweet. And I really wanted him, and I do want the Perceptor. I remember buying the Perceptor as a kid. I remember, I think it was a birthday present. I think I went into a Toys R Us. My mom's like, all right, go ahead and pick out some stuff. And I really want a Perceptor. I just thought he was so freaking cool. So I really want the, uh, I think it's a Studio Series version, or even if it's a Kingdom version, I want the Perceptor that's coming out soon. But Blaster. Hell yes, bam. One more Transformers figure. Before we get to the two hot toys and the weird ass purchase that I made, this guy right here, opening scene, Bumblebee, Cybertron, holy frick, awesome scene, loved it. Bam, sound wave, I get the sound wave. I think in a previous video I got the Ravage already, so this will go perfectly with the Ravage and the Starscream and the what's his ass, the thrust, the neon green dude. What's his ass? Uh, but here's Soundwave. Very, very cool. He looks good. Looks very, very good. And that scene, holy frick. Holy frick, that was awesome. I want an entire movie on Cybertron. I want an entire movie like that. That would be amazing. They're never gonna do it, but that's okay. We'll always have that scene on Cybertron. 
Hot Toys. I got two new Hot Toys. One of these I picked up at Retro Madness. I had some credit at Retro Madness. They posted on their website that they got this one. I was like, holy crap. Put it aside for me. I'll definitely take that with my credit. And that one right here. By the way, check out Retro Madness if you're in the DFW area. They got three stores. Bedford, Arlington, Fort Worth. Hopefully I got them right, guys. Retro Madness. Bam. I got the Wonder Woman 84 Golden Armor. Hell yes. I am going to end this video by showing you where I have her on display. I'm gonna take her out of the box, put her on display, and I'll show you that real quick. Just a quick little clip, clip a rooski, uh, cause I know this thing's running a little long, but uh, last hot toy in this haul, Mandalorian. Mandalorian, some of my favorite Star Wars that's ever come out. And this guy was in one of the episodes and it's a classic character, so why the hell would I not get it for my display? He is going to hang out with two other Imperial characters. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this badass right here, the Sideshow Exclusive. What is his actual name? Stormtrooper Squad Leader. He was on the episode where Boba, where uh, little freaking Grogu's on the little thing, and he's like, you know, he's like, eh, he's like, you know, reaching out to the other, the one other Jedi that's up, or the, you know, he's trying to reach out. Eh, eh. So he's there, and then uh, Mando is there, and then uh, uh, this guy, he lands, and you see him like fly over, and you're like, holy frick, it's freaking Slave One. We can't call it that anymore. Holy frick, it's the fire spray. And then this dude lands, and he's like, uh, where's my armor? And he's like, oh, it's in the ship. And then he goes and gets in and then comes out and he beats this dude's ass. Beats this dude's ass. Beats a bunch of dude's ass. I should do like movie reviews, should I not? I mean, I, I think I can uh, properly summarize television shows and movies so well, so absolutely well. I think I should do that. That should be my main career, right? Would you guys watch it? Hell no, you wouldn't. Here's the weirdest frickin' purchase I've ever made on this damn channel. I don't know why I bought this. I was at Ross and I found a couple of Adidas shirts. This is the backstory, guys. I was at Ross, I was killing some time before I had to pick up my daughter. Found a couple of Adidas shirts, which I like Adidas, I wear Adidas stuff. Found a couple t-shirts, bought those t-shirts. I was walking to the checkout counter and I walked past the men's fragrances, the cologne. And I saw this, I'm like, what in the hell is that? And I looked at it and I'm like, 10 bucks? Sure, I'm a sucker, I'll buy it. This is Iron Man cologne. I bought Iron Man cologne for $10 from a Ross. If you have a weirder purchase on your channel, please let me know in the comments. I don't think anyone can top this. I don't know what it smells like. You know what, let's go ahead and do a little smell test right now. I'm gonna unbox, here's an unboxing. Iron Man cologne. I can kind of smell it through the box. Let's see what it smells like. The box is open. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, I'm so happy that I bought this. How freaking cool is that? How freaking cool is that? Totally worth 10 bucks. Totally worth 10 bucks at this point. Holy cow, that's amazing. That's freaking amazing. Let's go ahead and test this out though. Ready? <clears throat> smells like stank. It smells like Tony Stank. The sweet smell of Tony Stank. I gotta say guys, I like the way this smells. I like the way this smells. I, I occasionally wear cologne, not every day, but occasionally when I wanna smell nice. This doesn't smell too bad. I am not lying. I am not shitting you right now. Iron Man cologne, check out your Ross stores. And then you can also smell like RDJ. That's all I got, guys. That's all I got. I probably lost more subscribers because of this damn video, but I don't care. I had fun, hopefully you had fun. But, uh, oh my God, this is very strong. It's pungent. I'm not gonna lie. That smells like pure gasoline. <laughs> Have fun collecting. Subscribe, please. Thumbs up the video. I sprayed cologne on myself in this video. Thumbs up for that. I'll see you guys around the corner. I still have a Razor Crest to unbox. What else do I gotta do? I got a bunch of crap that I gotta show you. I just gotta find the time to do it. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Have fun collecting. See you around the corner and adios for now. All right guys, I almost forgot. Uh, out here in the loft, 
I'll switch my posters around, first of all. Got some Alien. Got some American Werewolf in London. Got some Blade Runner. He's still over there. Hulkbuster's still there. <clears throat> still got my uh, movie theater pillows. This guy's here. Death Watch Mando and his helmet. That looks pretty badass. But, uh, and then this guy's still here. Batman. Hey, there's me. And Batman poster. Uh, most of the hot toys, still the same ones, but got a little DC action here. Got a little uh, Superman light, Batman light. And there she is, bam, bam. She looks awesome. She looks so cool. Look at how shiny that armor is. And the lights are not even, they're pretty uh, dim. Uh, this is just like light from outside coming through the window. She is quite, quite shiny. Here she is. I think I need to fix her eyes though. It looks like one of her eyes is looking the wrong way. I think you can get in there and uh, and move the eyes around, but anyway. She's got uh, rooted hair, which I usually don't like, but this actually looks pretty good. Um, and then she's got these gold wings. Very, very cool. Looks great, but uh, there's a little Batman light too. So can't wait to put a Peacemaker on here. Can't wait to maybe put a King Shark, a Batman. A Battinson, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, there's me, bye bye everyone. This is really the end of the video now, adios. <laughs>